everybody, it's Hannah Schooner or Schooner or Later, and this is my Let's Build a Ranger video. In this video, I'm going to break down everything you'll have to choose from, what options you'll have when building your Ranger. I now have a Patreon, and I would like to take this time to thank my patrons who have already given me support. I will leave the link in the description if that sounds like something that might interest you. So first, let's choose a race for your Ranger. Now, as I've said in many videos, there's no right race for each class. You can be whatever you want to be, but there are races that are naturally good at certain things. The Ranger will use the dexterity statistic the most, so there are certain races that are naturally dexterous, such as the Aarakocra race, the Elves, and the Halflings. Next, you'll get to pick a favored enemy for your ranger. Whatever you select, your ranger will have certain bonuses or abilities when fighting that enemy. One option for a favored enemy is aberrations. Aberrations are not from the natural world. They're like aliens. Their anatomy is weird. Sometimes they're crosses between a few things that might be from the natural world. An aboleth and an intellect devourer are some examples of what an aberration might be. Beasts are the equivalent of animals in our world. Badgers or hawks or crabs or any sort of equivalent to an animal from um, the real world. Celestials are powerful outlanders from the upper planes. They are usually of good alignment and a good example are angels. Constructs are animated objects or artificially constructed creatures. Their sole purpose is to serve their creators. Dragons are a little more well-known than a lot of these, but they're flying giant reptiles that are very intelligent. <laughs> Elementals are life forms that are made up of the four basic elements, air, water, earth, and fire, as well as a few smaller, lesser-known elements. The next option is fae. Fae are magical creatures closely tied to forces of nature. They uh, exist in a separate plane called the fae wild, but sometimes they cross over into the regular plane. Fiends are evil creatures from the lower realms. This can include demons, devils, hellhounds, and other such dark evil creatures. Giants, just like the dragons, are pretty well known and probably easier to understand what they might be. But there are different kinds of giants. There's cloud giants, frost giants, hill giants, stuff like that. And so if you picked this one, then you would have bonuses against attacking or fighting all giants. Humanoids practically include any race that has two legs and two arms and can resemble the anatomy of a human. So any playable race, basically, would be counted as a humanoid. Monstrosities are big, scary, unnatural monsters. This can include um, Tarasks, Doppelgangers, Centaurs, Umberhulks, things like that. Oozes are gelatinous creatures like slimes, jellies, and puddings. Some plants in D&D are carnivorous or sentient, and so if you chose that as your favorite enemy, that would be what you're dealing with. If you choose undead, it includes all sorts of undead, skeletons, zombies, vampires, that sort of thing. So if you chose that as your favorite enemy, every time you encountered a creature like this, you would have bonuses against them. Whichever favorite enemy you choose, you will also get to choose a language. And it makes a lot of sense to choose a language that your favorite enemy might speak, and a quick Google search can confirm what language that might be. You will also get to pick your favored terrain, the natural explorer benefit of being a ranger. And so you'll get to pick one terrain that you feel most at home in and so you have certain bonuses or advantage on certain checks while you're in this terrain and you would get to choose from the arctic, the coast, forest, desert, grassland, mountain, swamp, underdark, and whatever you choose whenever you're in that terrain you get special bonuses. At second level, your ranger will get to pick a fighting style that they're specialized in. They can choose between archery, which is a bow and arrow, um, defense, which is a kind of fighting style that involves a one-handed weapon and a shield, dueling, which is a rule-stricken fighting style between one person and another, and two-weapon fighting, which means you get to wield one simple weapon in each hand. At third level, you'll get to pick your ranger archetype. If you choose the Beastmaster, your ranger will specialize in friendships and partnerships with beasts and often have an animal companion. A gloom stalker is at home in dark, deep places, like deep under the earth in cave systems or in gloomy alleyways, and so if you pick this, then your favorite terrain would most likely be the Underdark, and your ranger would do very well in cave systems or deep, dark places like that. Horizon Walker rangers 
focus and specialize in beasts, monstrosities, things like that that are from other planes. They seek out portals and watch over them between the planes, sometimes venturing to other planes to retrieve someone who doesn't belong there. If your ranger is a hunter, then it means you thrive in the wilderness and you specialize in certain types of beasts that you may have to hunt. Monster Slayer Rangers are trained in supernatural techniques to take down mystical monsters of any difficulty. It is common for your Dungeon Master to suggest the Revised Ranger Unearthed Arcana subclass. This took the Ranger and changed a few things to make it, some might argue, better, or just give you more bonuses for the things that you'll get as a Ranger. If you choose the Revised Ranger, then your favored enemy and greater favored enemy will be more separated out and you'll be more bonuses for each. Favored enemy will add a plus two to damage and a greater favored enemy will add a plus four. Whereas in the original Ranger, you don't necessarily get a damage bonus as much as you know information about your favored enemy. In the Revised Ranger, you won't pick a favored terrain. In any natural terrain, you will gain the bonuses as if it is your favored terrain in the regular Ranger. The Natural Explorer benefit in the Revised Ranger will also give you advantage on initiative against an enemy that hasn't attacked yet. If your Dungeon Master is comfortable with you using Unearthed Arcana, many recommend the Revised Ranger to the original. Your Ranger will use their Dexterity statistic the most out of all. If, depending on your fighting style, you chose a two-weapon fighting style or a melee weapon fighting style, then having a higher number in your Strength stat won't hurt either. Wisdom is also a good stat for rangers, as most of your skills that require nature checks would come from your wisdom modifier. Depending on what kind of ranger you've created, different backgrounds might fit better into your backstory. An outlander is a very common background for a ranger, especially if you're from the forest. Maybe you grew up there. But each background has their own specific set of bonuses or benefits that you get from that background, as well as recommended personality traits, flaws, ideals, and bonds. Next, you'll want to pick your ranger's alignment. I have created a video in the past that already describes a lot of the alignments, but think about the background that you've picked, what your favorite enemy might be, and then from there, decide what kind of alignment your ranger might have given the personality traits as well that you've selected. And lastly, your name. For me, I like to pick my character's name last, but sometimes you can come up with the name first or while you're in the middle, but I like to either draw inspiration from books or movies of characters that I admire, and sometimes there are great name generators as well, fantasy name generators. There are specific race name generators. For example, if you want to go with an elf ranger, there are a lot of elven generators online. I'll leave some in the description for the different races, but Hopefully this gave you everything you need to build your ranger and know what kind of ranger you want. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what other kind of classes you want to see in the future. Thank you so much.